morning everyone so here is your energy updates for april um i've had a gorgeous meditation this morning actually linking in to see what is going on and i've got messages both from mother earth and some cosmic beings as well and um i've made a note of them so i might read some of them out um in a bit but basically the first thing that's coming through in april is is what they call swathes of hope so if you're making any notes down about this pointers it's swathes of hope and it's delivering new horizons so if you wanted like a banner of what April was all about, then that's what I would personally write down, is swathes of hope leading to new horizons. So that's the big universal messages of April. And then um, what I saw was uh, quite a lot of, um, basically quite a lot of nature spirits that popped up. And these nature spirits are inviting us into uh, light. I've seen like a, you know the sunrise you get when it's soft and it's gentle, it's yellow, but it's also got oranges in. So it's very much about our joy and it's very much about creation. So this month is very much about creation. And um, basically the, uh, the earth spirits were inviting us in to a useful inquiry. So I wrote this down because they said I needed to be very specific. A useful inquiry with Mother Earth via your own innocence. Okay, so a useful inquiry into Mother Earth via your own innocence. Now, this was really, really interesting because it looked like very young, very young um, nature spirits had come to say, remember your innocence and remember um, how it feels to understand that you, um, you don't know how not to do things. Nobody's actually told you you can't do this. So it's that sort of innocence they were talking about. They were like, imagine that this is a brand new day, brand new horizons, and you've woken up and you don't know what you can't do. So, and nobody's telling you you can't do anything. And it's that sort of innocent inquiry, but to deepen your relationship with Mother Earth and get some, get some Earth um, awesomeness in your, in your daily activities. Now, these nature spirits from a distance look very young. They had young, um, agile bodies but when I really looked into them they were very very ancient beings so what they were saying is is apply yourself with the innocence and freedom and full potential of new life but also to attend to the wisdom side within you to attend to your ancestral lineage to attend very much to the wise heart within you so this this huge swathes of hope and huge new horizons um, as our banner for the month and then the particulars are of how to actually work with that and use that energy and benefit from the energy is to apply ourselves through mother earth and going through our own idea of what our innocence is because innocence isn't just for childhood innocence is every day you know some people um some people say you know it's well for me they'll say oh carol you're still so gullible uh, i'm not sure it's, i mean i am <laughs> i totally own that but it's also an innocent inquiry into wow what what makes that happen how does how does that work? Um, so it's that sort of thing to approach it in that way, but understand that we're you're not being fooled into gullibility. We're stepping through innocent inquiry into Mother Earth through our wisdom heart, the wise one within everybody. So that sounds like a yummy, yummy, yummy recipe for swathes of hope. 
Then I asked the Cosmic Guides to step in and give us a message from them. And they were talking about stillness and kind of like serenity and to try and explore your own stillness. They're saying April is like slowly waking up energy. It's sort of encased in a beautiful, gorgeous, loving intent. But it's sort of a gentle time. It's a stillness time. And um, they were basically saying it's a powerful gentleness. Hang on, I have to put my glasses back on again. A powerful gentleness pervading the atmosphere throughout the whole of the month. So a powerful gentleness pervading the atmosphere. And the cosmic guides are saying this is a precursor to peace. So um, to help to help things move along with Mother Earth, they're saying, can you during this month actually provide yourself some space? that will allow you to go into stillness, deep in your stillness practice, and just tap into their energy that they're providing, this powerful light that's coming through, which is a powerful gentleness. Have that as, a, as an affirmation. I am powerful gentleness. I pervade my surroundings with powerful gentleness. Okay, that's another layer. Now remember when we're doing these energy updates, we're providing information from Gaia, from the cosmos, from the universe, from many different light beings, so that all of these, every single human, everyone that's on this channel looking at this, you can all take aspects of these and apply them to your daily life. Um, but some will resonate more that you can get, it's not in a particular order, you can take whichever and, and work with that. And then, I really got, a, 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 right, time to, um, so the cosmic guidance is saying also that we need to clear our clutter. Now, this is to do with, this is to do with a mighty lot of energy that's trying to come through. It's a really big um, resonance of light that's attempting to come through from the cosmos. It's doing so through the planet Venus still, and it's coming direct. A lot of energy that comes from Venus is usually sort of dampened down through Sirius before it comes to Earth, and it's not. At the moment, it's still coming directly from Venus. You can still see Venus really, really clearly near the moon at the moment, every single night, certainly in our northern hemisphere. Um, so uh, the cosmic guides are saying, please clear your clutter out. So you know those things that you've left for ages and you think, oh, I'll get round to it, I'll get round to it. Clear that sock drawer out, clear that, 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 sort out your photos on your phone and on the computer. Whichever it needs to be, it's sort of clearing and cleaning, clearing and cl cleaning. And they want you to do your outside, your, your outer landscape, what you see, where you live, where, your car, where, where everything in, you know, where's that filing, all that sort of stuff. And then after the external's done, they want you to go inside. So they said external first. It's really interesting because the inner landscape usually shows you the outer landscape that you're living in. But they're asking us to clear our space, physical space first, and then go inside and start to clear the clutter inside your mind and your heart. So um, these are these are outmoded and outdated stories that we have been running for a very, very long time that I completely get that we have value in those stories and they've come historically out of experience and sometimes pain and and uh, all sorts of, of, of traumas. We are honoring those, but they're just saying clear out the stories that actually no longer um, feed you in a good way. Clear them out now. Clear the clutter inside your mind and your heart so that you're free to receive the freedom um, a love that's trying to come through from the cosmos. Okay, so free yourself of the old stories. Free yourself of the old pair of socks. <laughs> free yourself of that old, you know, paperwork that's stuck there that you don't know what to do with. If, if you don't know what to do with it, just just burn it, just shred it, something. Um, and, or file it, find a place for it, but make a decision so that it can leave you. You know, you have cords of energy to every single thing that you own. 
So that pile of paperwork that's sort of waiting for you to deal with has a lot of your energy in it. So as soon as you've actually sorted it, filed it or got rid of it or acted upon it, then you're free. It's freedom. It really is free. Everybody knows how it feels once you've sorted something out. So the Cosmic Guides are saying practically, can you attend to that, please? And then attend to the inner stories that have been running for years. And actually, you know, the Cosmic Guides are saying, you'll know now it's ready to put that one down and create a new one because this new Horizons of Hope is bringing in a new world. And... um we are being taken in in the wings of angels at the moment, the wings of a dove. We're being protected by that and we're being taken along during April as a time for us to actually say what we want is our own new horizon. So it's actually going with that as best you possibly can. Okay, so that's outer landscape first and then the inner worlds. And then what they're saying is, when we've attended to that, then clearing as much as we possibly can, because cosmic knowledge wants to actually find purchase in your surroundings and within you. So that's why we're doing it. I always like to know, well, why do we need to do this? It's because cosmic knowledge, higher vibrations um, have room. They need the room to move in. So they're asking you to make the room so you can have the room to move in. And last but not least is we are being invited into a deep breath of calm and tranquility. It's time to plant new seeds of kindness, love and cooperation. So it's time to plant new seeds of kindness, love and cooperation. So as we get that yummy benefit of the wisdom that we are, that starts to um, take place of our old stories, we have then the clarity that we need, the self-respect, the love and the unity consciousness to plant these seeds of kindness, of love and cooperation. So April, energies are a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful combination. I wish you well. Let me know how you go. Lots of love. Bye for now.